to absent friends and departed ones. I just want to start off by saying what an amazing ride this has been. These last seven years, getting to tell this story for all of you, getting to work with the amazing writers that I've worked with and the amazing directors that I've worked with, and of course, the amazing actors. We hope you've enjoyed the ride as much as we have and that this final leg of it is as amazing for you as it has been for us. Sanctum wasn't perfect, but these people had peace before we got here. So we are back for our final season. Our heroes destroyed another civilization and they do need to fix what they broke on some level. The people of Sanctum have lost their way of life, but many still believe in the primes. They blame us. To make matters worse, the children of Gabriel are here. That's the prime! They want Russell Prime and anyone who believes in him dead. Me and my friends here, we're just looking for a place to lay our heads. Add to that. 36 hardened criminals from Earth, who one crew was at war with a few days ago. What could go wrong? It's a powder keg. <laughs> Clark lost her mother. Tell me it was worth it. She will still be reeling from that as we enter season seven. We should be worried about how Clark is responding. And I think one of the things that you'll see in the premiere is another tour de force from Eliza Taylor uh, as she comes to grips with what has happened. Find me. Octavia is gone. She disappeared at the end of season six in Bellamy's arms. Octavia! And Bellamy is reeling from the loss of his sister, confused by where she might be, having been stabbed by a mysterious visitor from another world. <clears throat> we'll begin to tell the story of Hope Dioza, the daughter of Dioza, who a few days prior in our story was a fetus, and is now a 22-year-old woman. Don't want to hurt you. 